हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अ रिव्यू वीडियो फॉर आचार्य इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एआईटी इन बैंगलोर एंड सो बिफोर दैट लिटिल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट एआईटी व्हिच इज आचार्य इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज एफिलिएटेड विद वीटीयू टी बेलगाम एंड इट इज यू नो अप्रूव्ड बाई एआईसीटी and lot of students ask about the autonomous so this is not an autonomous institute and it's a, but it is accredited by nac rating right so so on the nac rating it is actually a nac a grade institute and uh, it was established in 2000 so almost like a 22 years of operation for engineering and uh, it is located uh, in bangalore with the 21 courses across right so this is the college address so it is located in the solvadanalli area in bangalore and uh, you can check the uh, address here in case you want to reach college for uh, any inquiry or other thing and in case you want to talk about that admissions then you, there is a domestic uh, contact email id as well as the phone number as well as for the international students uh, these numbers are there you can reach them now talking about the college uh, infrastructure right so it is as you can see from the picture it is one of the very big 100 acres campus and has every uh, facilities which you can think about right so that is best in uh, part in this college that infrastructure is excellent and a uh, lot of uh, big open spaces are there for student activities and others right so infrastructure as i said there are large number of auditoriums you know <coughs> across college with you know sitting capacity of 500 and abo right boardrooms conference halls and it is such a big that it has a very big you know stadium size you know stadium right for cricket and all where 10000 people can sit so it is like a, this is one of the picture of that uh, stadium right so it's a quite big uh, campus and it has uh, uh, in its own you know four acre artificial lake is part of the campus so it's beautifully designed in terms of infrastructure and uh, other facilities like for rain water sewage and all those and uh, talking about the facilities for students hostel so it has a hostels for both boys and girls and uh, lots of canteens and food courts you can find on the campus and serving both vegetarian as well as non vegetarian so student life is quite delight and it has a coffee day express you know coffee day uh, other things everything is there and recreational part for sports activity they do have a lot of indoor games as well as outdoor games which i have already mentioned right and these are the branches available so automobile engineering and there is option for artificial intelligence and machine learning then there is mechanical engineering on the core side then you have option available for biotechnology engineering and followed by computer science engineering which is the best options to study here and civil engineering on the again on the core side electronics and electrical which is triple e electrical electronics engineering or uh, your aeronautical engineering so almost like all the fields are there electronics and communication engineering and uh, talking about information science engineering isc is also there and new branch which is computer science engineering with data science mechatronics and the last is mba is also there so not talking about the seat matrix so you can see here you know Uh, around 120 seats for AIML, 60 for uh, aeronautical engineering, and then 60, 60 for each of biotechnology, civil, and computer science engineering is like the highest number of seats, which is around 180, and the best option in this college. And the newly started branch, which is computer science and engineering, data science is 60. Moving further, your ECE is around 120 seats, triple E 60, information science engineering 120 seats. mechanical 60 <coughs> mechatronics 60 mba is 240 seats and mca is 120 seats now i'm going to talk about the placements from the nirf document so you can see this is the nirf document snapshot and before that you can see that in 2018 19 right batch 1020 was the student strength right so 1020 students part uh, joined the college in 2018 19 and they go passed it in 2022 so i'm showing going to show the latest placements and last three years placement that's why i'm showing the student strength which is 1020 students now if you see the placement figures now so you can see out of 1020 students 954 students were passing in the stipulated time right in 20 2020 and out of those 954 passing 550 uh, 520 st 26 students were placed so it's a very low placement if you can see 
from 1000 plus students only 526 are getting placed that is uh, it is 50 percent placement with the median salary of 3.6 lakhs next year in 2021 batch out of 1020 students 951 were you know basically uh, passing the engineering successfully and out of those 951 only 618 got placed but that is 60% placement so 60% placement with 4.25 lakh as a median salary and the 22 which was the latest uh, batch right which passed 787 students were only passing out of the 1000 plus students that means there are 200 300 students are not eligible to sit in the placement itself and out of the students who are sitting only 539 got placed so you can understand that overall placement in this college is around 50% or less right so with the median salary is only 4.25 lakhs right so it is important that you take only computer science ece and the top branches only in this college otherwise you know placement chances are very low thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates